Hey guys, it's Jamie. Uh, what I'm going to be doing in this video is teaching everybody how to use Adobe Illustrator so you're able to change clip art into DXF files that you are able to cut on your Cameo. Um, Illustrator is not a free program. It is a paid for program from Adobe, um, but it has so many more qualities and capabilities than the free program does, which is Inkscape. Um, and I'm going to show them to you. It it's just a really awesome program. The one that I'm doing, the, I'm sorry, the version that I'm doing with this video is actually Adobe Illustrator 5.5. So what I'm going to do is show you exactly how to do this. You're going to open up your Illustrator program and you're going to go File, New. You know, just open up a plain old document. And then how to get your colored clip art in is you're going to go to File, Place. You have to make sure that your clip art has really dark black lines. If not, then Live Trace is not going to pick it up, yeah. rendering this entire thing ineffective. As you can see, there's a dog, and you can hear a dog in the background. All right, um, so basically you're going to take this file, and you see he's all colored and all cute and stuff, but we're going to make him all black and white, just so the cameo is able to read his file. How we're going to do that is we're going to make sure he's selected. You're going to go Object, Live Trace, make and expand. Woo! As you see, he is now black and white, and he is all perfectly lined out, so the cameo is going to be able to read him perfectly. But there's one step that you have to make sure that you complete. If not, all you're going to get is a square. Squares are not very cute. So you're going to have to make sure it's all selected, and how you're going to do this, you're just going to make a little square around him, make him all blue. You're going to go object on group. Okay. From this point on, it is all up to you on what kind of image that you're wanting to do. If you're just wanting to do a black outlined image, then you're going to do the following instructions. If you're wanting to do a full colored image, you know, you cut out his black line, his out black, sorry, his black outline and just black paper, and then you just have his outline, that's going to be following this. But this following one is going to be making him a colored dog. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to come in here and you're going to want to grab the black piece right here. It's a little hard to grab with him being so small, so you're going to make him a little larger. All right, see how you grabbed him? This is saying all your black lines are now selected. You're going to go to Select, Same, Fill Color. That's going to select everything with the same exact black fill color. As you see, it collected his eyes as well. What you're going to do at this point is you're going to group it and you're going to move him to the side. This is the outline of the dog. This is going to be the part that's actually going to cut on the cameo. All right, but the part that we need, so he's a colorful pretty dog, is going to be the guts. These are the parts that this cameo needs to cut out so you can make sure that he's brown and has a pink tongue and a dark brown paws. I mean, whatever you want to do, you can make him purple. But what you're going to do is you're going to Make sure it's all selected. You're not going to see it, but we all know it's there. And you're going to make it black. All right. When you're doing that, you see that you have this square here. That's because we didn't delete the original square. So what you're going to do, this is really easy. Is you're just going to select it, select it, select it, and select it. So there you go. This is going to be the part, as you see, it's the internal parts of the dog. So what you're going to do is you are basically going to select this, you're going to copy it, make sure that it doesn't go away, you're going to move him up here, you're going to move this guy here, and then you're going to go File, Export, change this, it's already down as a DXF, you will usually open it as a DWG. But you, again, you want to change it to an AutoCAD interchange file .dxf, and you're going to want to do dog dxf with this two insides. All right, we're going to save it to the desktop again. Save everything to the desktop. It's a lot easier to find that one. So we don't change anything here. You start changing things, everything's going to get really confused, and you'll be mad at me if it doesn't cut right, so just don't change anything. 
Okay, once you save it as a DXF from Illustrator, you're going to see it here on your desktop. You're going to leave it there. You're going to open up your Silhouette program, and you're going to go to File, Import to My Library, do the drop down as a DXF. You're going to double click on Dog DXF with Insights because that's where we saved it as. You're going to press OK. You can save it in magical little files, mad keywords if you feel it's necessary. I do not. I'm just going to press OK. Once I press OK and I know that it basically imported to the library correctly, I'm going to do Show Library. And here it is, Dogs with Insides. I double click on it, and here's the file. As you see, here's his outline, here's his insides. From this point, if you just want to see his insides and you just want to cut his insides, you're going to right click on it, you're going to ungroup it, and then you can delete his insides. You press group again. And select outline and press group and you're gonna make them as big or as small as you want and then you are just going to cut like normal um, sort of easy to do once you once you get going on it at first it's gonna be a little bit difficult you're gonna to have to figure out where everything is located in Illustrator but literally, once I start going, I can get one done in less than two minutes and, you know, it already be cutting on the silhouette. It's extremely easy to do. Um, if there's any questions, you can post them. Um, you can ask me. And then if there's a lot of the same question, I will post a follow-up video for it. Um, as for that, have a good day.